Russian gold. Russians are very, very traditionally minded. Um, it only has been recently with the improvements in technology and whatnot that Russia has become a little more westernized, where the younger generations are acting a little more like Americans and Europeans. But Russians, you'll see that in their culture, a lot of things seem very underdeveloped or primitive or, you know, kind of 18th, 19th century American stuff. And it's because they are so founded on their traditions, their, the traditions of their culture, the traditions of their family and whatnot. They, they don't want to differ from what they've seen. And, and they have been through some very, very rough times. Russia has been around for thousands of years longer than the United States. And so I've seen many, many more hardships and trials than we have. They have been through wars that we could never imagine on their own territory. Um, and so the people, when we, the, the American media um, depicts Russians very improperly. They depict them as these really gruff, angry um, drunks and whatnot that, that we see, but they, they uh, come off that way right from the beginning or, or on, on the surface because of the hardships they do. They have had to have developed hard skins in order to survive and progress in through the, the communistic era and whatnot that they have been through. But you'll find that Russians have a, they seem like they don't smile, but I kind of like to view Russians as like a, like a chocolate covered bunny, you know, like they have that hard outer shell, but are just the most loyal, loving, best friends you'll ever have on the inside. If you can get a Russian to trust you and to call you friend, that, uh, that honor is far greater than being called a friend in America. In, in America, you'll call a person that you just met on Facebook your friend. But in Russia, you if, if I call you my friend, it means I would, I would bleed and die for you. Um, you are more important to me than family because family you're stuck with, friends you get to choose. <laughs> um, and they, they are absolutely loyal in, in every sense of the word. They will do anything for you. They will, they will smile, they will laugh, they'll sing and dance with you. They're, they're so loving and open if you can get them to trust you. They are very, very honest and, that's, and, and blunt. That's just their culture. It's not offensive. Um, if I if if I had a bad haircut, a Russian would tell me, "Be like, man, your hair looks ugly," and they didn't mean it offensively. They're just stating the fact. So, as, as an American, you will find that we're very sugar coated, um, and you can't take what they say offensively. There and the language is based very much so that in Russian, you if you translate the Russian directly to English, it sounds very rude. If I was going to ask you to to hand me the salt and pepper at the dinner table in English, I would say, "Would you?" Would would you please hand me the salt and pepper? But in Russian, you would say, give me the salt and pepper in a flat tone. And that is completely polite. Uh, it's, and so that is something to brace yourself for that when Russians are honest, they're not rude. They are just honest. They, they're going to tell you to your face how they feel and what they think of you. So you always know where you stand with them. Russians, like with that honesty that they have, that bluntness, that they'll give to you. They can see right through you. They don't want you to brown nose and sugarcoat back to them. Um, if you are fake with the Russian, if you honestly, genuinely don't care about them or say, we want to come help you, you know, fix whatever in your house and you really don't mean it, you're just hoping they deny you, they will see right through that. You need to have genuine love and honesty for the people and if you don't, you know, you can't suggest something that you're not willing to do. You can't give a compliment that they haven't earned. Uh, you don't say thank you for something until the task is completed. You know, you don't say thank you. you when you see the food, you don't say, wow, thank you so much. This food looks good. And they'll, they'll turn to you and look and say, you haven't even tried it yet. Why are you thanking me? Um, you need to be yourself. You need to be straightforward and honest. And they will respect that. You will learn to respect, or they will learn, they will come to respect you so much more if you have that honesty that they treasure so much and that they give back to you.